He does not look dead, but just asleep. I barely knew him, busy as he was traveling the world. What would be of a man with no aspiration for the other side to inspire or lead him? I knew it would come to this. Your father was a terrible mess of a man. I'm only grateful that he brought you to our home. Soon enough, not long after you were born, I have no doubt that you will learn from his bad example and grow up to be a righteous gentleman. What could there be greater than the efforts of mortals to rise from their miserable conditions? We will speak later, young man. We're busy. It's so sad. He was most dearest to me. You know, your father was a complicated man. He had a strong character and was stubborn as a mule when he had taken a determination. He believed he had a mission in this world, though I'm not sure he knew exactly what it was. That which avoids description, the unknown place, provides men with a reason to exist. This is an obscure domain, its secrets taken by man from the silence of nature and death. You are the young Beechworth, is that right? Your father left you everything, Anthony. The house, his accounts, and all his belongings, for you to receive when you come of age. He is very specific in his testament, though, that you should receive this promptly. His personal book log. These are the memoirs of my life, my research, and my knowledge of the other side. Use them wisely, son. All right. She is the only survivor. What happened to the others? They're all dead. I would like to talk to her. She has spoken only nonsense since she woke up. This is no doubt. There is no doubt this is a Catholic monastery. Good afternoon. My name is Jake Kaufman. I'm a doctor. Do you mind if I asked you a few questions? Please be careful with what you ask, Miss Parnell's state is delicate. I am perfectly fine and able to talk, sister. Thanks for your consideration. Now, Doctor, I understand you want me to repeat my story. I would be thankful to hear it, indeed. I'll stay outside if you need me. I'm a sane woman, Doctor, in complete control of my mind and reason. You do not dare to question it. I certainly wouldn't. Then I'll commence. I woke up in the dark. The room was small so narrow that I could touch the wooden walls just by raising my elbows. Where were you? Could you recognize the place? I couldn't tell at first. For a moment, a most dreadful thought crossed my mind. What if I had been buried alive? When I got out, I'd find myself in my parents' house. I hadn't been there since... since they sent me to school. Were your parents there? Did you see anyone there? parents or maybe someone you knew? No, they're not in the house, nor was any servant I had known in the years of my childhood. I was alone. I could feel the humid air on my skin and could smell the scent of the long time abandoned. I walked the rooms and settled by the silence. The place had a bleak feeling of a ruin. Then I saw someone, in the opposite end of the corridor. An old woman stared at me. 
Who was she? How should I know? I hadn't seen her before. I followed her out through the back alley and into the streets. I got lost in the burg of Aberdeen. The streets were deserted and a thick fog covered everything. I thought I'd seen the old woman through the fog once or twice, but they could have just been shadows. Didn't you see anyone? The city was empty. No, not completely. I met some people, vagabonds. One of them was a priest. I remember a novelist and a boy, too. Tell me about the priest. Where did you meet him? Met him in the stable. Good lord. He said mass there, among the beasts. Can you imagine the profanity? Tell me about the novelist. The woman had never written a word. She created only in her mind, you know. She could tell the story sentence by sentence with perfect precision. I could hear a piece of her last work. What was the piece about? The piece she told me was something like... The shadows of the past soon melt within the land that loves silence. Through the fog they walked, found themselves lost. Hoping from a sign for their gods, they sent camp on the beach, where the thirty birds awaited to meet their crown. So the boy, what about him? I came across an abandoned carriage. The horse was long dead, bones still harnessed to the cart. There was a young man petting the carcass of the animal. Did you talk to the boy? He was deaf, but I think he could read my lips. When he spoke, he did with a clear accent. He said he could only listen to the songs of the departed. What happened then? As I walked, the fog got denser. I could barely see anything around. I finally met the old woman. She didn't say a thing, but gave me a cardboard card. Then she left. She gave you a playing card. It was one of those used to tell fortune. There was a drawing on it of a veiled person holding a lamp. And then, the mist seemed to clear out and I could finally see. What could you see? A barren land, bathed by roaring waves. There were thousands of birds, and then I realized there was something else. What was it? It was there. It looked at me. The burning dark inside, the shaking the scream. That vision. I cannot understand. What is it, Doctor? Have I finally lost my strength of mind? I believe your story. I'm sure that what you lived was real. But I'm afraid that I currently lack any proof that I confirm your account. I'm sorry. I should leave. Thank you for your time. Wait, Doctor, I have something else to say. When I first woke up here, there was something beside me. Would this be enough proof? Looks like a tarot card. Francis Baldwin. After being certified of your guilt by a peer jury, we find you guilty of the wicked and violent murders of fourteen innocent and sick people. Because of this sentence, I am hereby authorized to execute you at this very moment by hanging to death in the sight of God. Would you like to make a final statement before we proceed? Why will you say that I am mad? You should have seen how mercifully I proceeded. With what love? I saved them. I released them. Now they are in a better place. Do you still believe I am mad?
not finished here yet. The sky is cloudy outside. Let me see something wrong with the water pressure valve. An anatomical model built for a built of actual human bones. Forceps, the things, yes, those are stuff. Not just a body. Good lord, what a mess. Skin is all scorched. Cause of death is probably shock caused by sudden burns. Horrible way of passing. How could lead a man of God to commit such an act? All that remains is to file the medical report so it can receive the proper treatment a fine gentleman deserves. Has to do here is file a medical report. Yeah. Okay, fine. Jeez. Oh, medical report. I want a autopsy. This case still puzzles me. If you wanted to commit suicide, why did you do it in such a painful manner? Was he drugged or intoxicated? I just suck his stomachs for signs of poisoning. Alright, the stomach looks fine on the outside. Now I should cut it open to check its contents. What's this? Something strange in here. It looks like a piece of paper. Alright, yeah, so. Alright. It's a note. A crumpled note with four names. One of them is crossed out. I think I should inform the inspector immediately. It's all um, interesting little things. See what happens afterwards. Achievements. Did I get them all? I didn't get them all. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay, for terror cards, fog like a pro. Fail to escape your destiny. Huh. Alright, so I didn't get all the achievements, but that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me on this adventure through the last door. I have purchased the second season, and I do intend on playing it. So, yeah, see you next time. Bye.